Hello my Legionnaires! 2016 has been a massive year for games. Long-awaited titles like Final Fantasy XV and The Last Guardian made their triumphant debuts. New installments in first-party franchises such as Uncharted 4 and Gears of War 4 came roaring back onto the scene, while varied and hectic first-person shooters rained from the sky. This year was particularly thrilling, anticipated, and enjoyable with a salvo of excellent games to choose from, but we're here to pick the best of the best. A few things to keep in mind going forward. First off, we didn't play every game, and that makes us feel horrible. There were just too many. Games like Uncharted 4 and The Last Guardian will be receiving an honorable mention, but sadly we didn't have time to review them. So we thought it only fair to judge the games we actually dumped hour after hour into for this list. Second off, we voted democratically, so our choice for Game of the Year is based on the consensus we reached as a group, as opposed to personal picks, which you can check out in our other Year in Review videos. Finally, all these games are worth a look regardless of your prior knowledge of the franchise or genre. Now, with all that housekeeping out of the way, let's go over our nominees for Game of the Year. And the nominees are... Let's begin with arguably the best controlling first-person shooter out there, Titanfall 2. It does everything a great sequel is meant to do. It adds onto and enhances the original formula of its predecessor. A bevy of new additions to multiplayer, which includes new pilot classes, guns, modes, and titans, makes it feel fresh and alluring. On top of all the new facets to the online mayhem, Titanfall 2 boasts a strong single-player campaign that is an excellent introduction to the franchise, its controls, and the weapons in the Titanfall universe. Each level is uniquely and expertly crafted, affording various ways to fight and traverse through all the open battlefields and tight corridors. Regardless if you're a fan of the series or you're dropping in for the first time, Titanfall 2's masterful controls, traversal options, and varied pilot slash titan classes make it one of this year's best. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Well, here we are. Final Fantasy XV is the product of a promise made about a decade ago, and it boldly forges a new direction for the beloved saga. A lovable cast of characters, a hectic combat system, and beautiful environments prop FF15 above its other JRPG competitors. Also, the summons, or astrals, have never felt this truly colossal or powerful. These living gods descend to aid you in your most desperate hour, and each time they appear, it took our breaths away. On the other hand, the game was easily the most moving thing we've played all year, with an emotional depth that was unexpected. Having the protagonists comment on each other's own fighting prowess in the midst of a desperate struggle, common chit-chat used while riding in the car to the next pit stop, or one-on-one -on -one conversations that provided insight to other characters' motivations and insecurities made them feel more like people than AI companions. Besides a rushed third act and some mundane side quests, Final Fantasy XV provides a robust and thoroughly enjoyable adventure through EOS with a fun battle system, an enjoyable story, and camaraderie you won't find in any other game this year. Our last entry comes in the form of Blizzard's newest IP, Overwatch. This particular company's tried and true formula is in full effect here, with an easy to pick up but difficult to master playstyle to the game. Each character seems deceptively simple at first, with typically one weapon, two to three abilities, and an ultimate ability. Discovering how those abilities can be utilized, combined, and negated is at the core of this game. Besides that, the continuous stream of updates, events, maps, and new heroes makes Overwatch feel constantly fresh and intriguing. A brand new hero or a rework of a pre-existing one can change the whole game and begs the question, which other combatants will bolster or hinder the newest approaching challenger? Not to mention this title is bursting with personality and cartoonish flair that makes each agent and map pop compared to their typically drab and dreary first-person shooter counterparts. Details to upcoming playable characters, nods to other Blizzard franchises, and minute features litter every map, affording them with a personality as big as the soldiers tromping around on them. What it lacks in a single-player driven narrative, it more than makes up for in a variety of playable heroes and understanding how they function on a team, who they work best in tandem with, and who they are easily countered by. Overwatch provides endless hours of nail-biting victories, a quirky cast, and a relentless new feeling to each and every match you play. This game demands your attention and provides something truly different from any other game this year. Looking at this year's nominees, we have an interesting mix of a strictly single-player game, one that is only multiplayer, and another that has a bit of both. Choosing which one rose above the rest wasn't easy, as they all scored very high on our reviews and resonated in our minds. But when we took a step back, only one game stood resolute and taller than the rest. And our game of the year for 2016 is... When it came right down to it, we all agreed that Overwatch was the game we couldn't stop playing. 
which is quite an achievement when most multiplayer games have a good 1-2 month honeymoon period before we typically lose interest. Here we are, roughly 8 months later, and we still hop in on a near weekly basis. The real draw to the title, besides its heroes, is the sensation of intrinsic progression, where you feel personally more skillful with an old character, or find a new appreciation for one you despised for ages. That coupled with being a blast to coordinate attacks with friends, makes those moments of an impossible victory all the sweeter, when your team truly triumphs. Also, this game is just downright fun to play, even as a healer. Overwatch is simply the combination of interesting characters, frantic gunplay, and a distinct art style that keeps us yearning for more. And that's why it's our Game of the Year. Agree with our choice? Let us know what your favorite games were in this year in the comments below. And feel free to like slash subscribe to become part of the Legion today. If you're already a Legionnaire, share this video with a friend. It really helps and we greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to hear Joe and I discuss our other choices for best games in our own personal categories, check out the Critical Podcast. We even dressed up for the show, so you know it's a big deal. Remember, adapt and overcome. And we'll see you in 2017.